Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to go over making a Grand Theft Auto style game using the uh, Polygon City assets by Cinti Studios. And it'll look uh, something like this. <laughs> so, the first thing we're going to do is just close this example project I made. And you're going to unrar and uh, open up the project that comes with the uh, files, which you can find below. And uh, yeah, this is the right one. So I'll just open this up. Now, sorry, I was just adjusting my headset after VR. Um, their uh, assets um, are on 4.14 right now, but they'll probably be updated, and they'll probably be updated to fix an issue that we're going to address in one of the early episodes, probably the start, which is just uh, rotating the vehicles so they can be driven easily. Um, I'm going to try and make it so you can run over people as fast as possible, because that's the funniest part. So let's do that, and then we'll work on weapons and things like that. So the first thing we're going to do is go to, we're going to get rid of the starter content. Actually, we don't need that. I probably should have just done this uh, without doing the video. It's kind of dead space, but it is what it is. So I'll just awkwardly mention it and make it worse. Yeah, I should have just left it. Oh, well, skip ahead 10 seconds, I guess. I'm sorry. All right, so that's deleted. So let's load up our level. We're gonna go to the maps folder in the Polygon City folder and uh, open up demonstration. So this is a nice demo map that we can uh, use to work with so we can see what's going on and all that good stuff. So let's uh, make our vehicle class and then uh, fix the cars up. So we're gonna make a new folder and we're gonna call it blueprints. And we're gonna make a new folder in that and call it vehicles. And we're going to make a new class, and we're going to make it a vehicle, wheeled vehicle. Select that, and we're going to name it base vehicle. And we're going to create a child of that and call it vehicle sedan. And we'll work uh, from here. Now we're also going to make another new folder, and we're going to call it game. And we're going to create a new uh, blueprint class in here, and it's going to be a game mode base. And we're going to call it GM. Poly city game mode. And now we're going to make another new folder and call it controllers. And we're going to make a player controller. We're going to call it PC, um, I guess, player. No, I need to give it a uh, human controller, I guess, because you're human. It's fine. So save all that. Go into the game mode. And we'll set the player controller to be our new thing. And there's currently a bug where if you just set if you set it here, it should update, but it kind of doesn't. Um, you have to restart the game, but it, we're not going to worry about that right now. I'm just mentioning it in case you start playing and your player controller doesn't work. That's probably why you just need to restart the engine. Okay, so uh, what we have our vehicle. Um, there's currently nothing in it, so let's fix that up. So I'll show you the problem with the 4.14 version, which is if we select the sedan, it's uh, I'll add an arrow as well. It's not on the x-axis right now, but it should be fixed in the later versions. And if it's not, this is really easy to fix if you have the source files, which come with the version we bought. So we're just going to go to um, our meshes folder in the Polygon City, go to vehicles, <coughs> excuse me, load up the sedan. We're going to type at the top left force front x-axis. Hit save, and then re-import that by right-clicking it and hit re-import. And then we're going to go to the uh, uh, desktop, and where is it? I am totally blind right now. Source files, FBX, and sedan. That'll rotate that guy, but that's going to cause a problem. It's going to cause two problems, actually. The first is the physics asset. This is easy to fix. Just select the root, delete, right-click, new body, single convex hull right here. Whoops. Leave that checked. Sorry about that. And default uh, angular constraint mode is locked. OK. And that should be good. Save, simulate. Looks fine. The tires are going to go crazy, so we can select these. 
uh, and go to constraints and you can lock these. If you leave this this one free, they'll be able to rotate this way, but you probably just want to animate that and not use the physics. There's no reason to use the physics for that. So we're just gonna close that. <clears throat> so this created a few problems, which is that it rotated the vehicles in the map, but we're gonna fix that after we import all of them, uh, which I'll just do off screen. Um, so I'll do that later. Um, when they're all done, we'll make a little thing that'll rotate all the vehicles back just so you know about that problem as well. But now what we can do is get our vehicle. We can go back to our vehicle sedan. We're gonna open it up. <clears throat> we're also gonna go to our controller and open him up. And we're gonna go to our project settings and open that up. This is the one I actually wanted. We can go to input and go to axis mappings and add to. We're gonna go move right. Actually, I'll start with move forward. Makes more sense to me. And we're going to go move right here. Make this one W. And we will make this VR compatible now, but for now we're just going to get everything working in non-VR, just for the sake of, well, my convenience, to be honest. It's kind of hard to make these videos and do VR. But it's fine, it doesn't matter. So D, just setting up the WASD keys, WASD. Set this to negative one, this to negative one. All right, so we'll go to our controller and uh, we'll get, we'll do right click, get controlled pawn, and we'll do move forward and move right. And then we're going to do cast to um, vehicle sedan. We're going to change this a bit, uh, sorry, wrong one, cast to base vehicle. We're going to change this later, so we'll set it as a variable, uh, depending on if you're a human or a car. Um, whether you're in a car or not, I guess is a better way to put that. But for now, we'll just leave it lazily like this. And we're going to do throttle, the throttle input, and connect these. And then over here, we're going to do steering, set steering input. And we can just use just, actually, no, we, we can't casting if we are using a variable we could do that but we're being lazy so uh, there we go so we'll compile and save that call this movement i'll call it vehicle movement actually just so we know for now compile and save and one more thing we're going to need to do is set up the wheels so load up the vehicle movement in the vehicle sedan actually no not that again the base vehicle go to vehicle movement and um, go down to where is it wheel setups and we need to add all the wheels now the way to find the wheels I'll just uh, show you real quick by adding the sedan and we'll click this so it loads it in the asset browser and load it up and you can go to the skeleton <clears throat> and it'll have all the wheel names here which is just wheel FL for front left right left and so on so we'll add those to the vehicle movement so wheel FL, front left, front right, rear left, rear right, compile, save. And hopefully, if we didn't screw anything up and forget anything too awfully, uh, this might work. There is one thing we're going to need to do, which is because of the bug I mentioned earlier, we're going to want to go to the class defaults. And uh, actually, no, we'll do it over here. Sorry. Go to the details panel. By the way, if you don't have world settings, you just go to window world settings. But well, for now, we'll go into the details, auto possessed by player zero. And we'll make its AI controller class a PC human controller. And if we didn't screw this up, like I said, we should be able to move around. We didn't set up a camera, which is a problem. But I could tell it was moving, which is good. We'll just select this so we can go to edit it. We'll add a sp um, spring arm. Drag that up. Add a camera. Compile. Save. Save. And this video is starting to get long, so I'll probably cut it off at around the 10 minute mark here where we have vehicles working. And as you can see, we can drive around. So that's uh, pretty exciting for 10 minutes. Not too bad. All right, so in the next one, we'll uh, work on improving the vehicle, and then we'll add ragdolls so we can run people over and uh, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.